Have you ever wondered why the night sky is dark, despite the fact that there are billions of stars in the universe? This is known as Olber's paradox, a question that has puzzled astronomers for centuries. To understand this paradox, we first need to grasp the concept of the observable universe. The observable universe refers to the part of the universe that we can potentially observe from Earth. It's like standing in the middle of a vast field. You can only see as far as the horizon. Similarly, there's a cosmic horizon beyond which we cannot see. So why can't we see all the stars? Well, the universe isn't old enough. Light from stars beyond our cosmic horizon hasn't had time to reach us, and it may never will. For light to travel, it needs time. And the universe, at roughly 13.8 billion years old, simply hasn't existed long enough for light from distant stars to reach us. But there's another twist to the story. The universe is expanding. This means that many stars are moving away from us. The further a star is, the faster it's moving away. This results in a phenomenon known as redshift, where light from distant stars shifts towards longer wavelengths, often out of the visible spectrum. So, not only is the light from distant stars not reaching us, but a lot of the light that does reach us is not even visible to the naked eye. Now, let's move on to another intriguing aspect of space, black holes. Imagine a star ten times more massive than the sun squeezed into a sphere approximately the diameter of New York City. The result is a gravitational field so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. That's a black hole for you. Black holes, despite their name, are not empty spaces. They are enormous amounts of matter packed into a very small area. The concept of black holes comes from Einstein's theory of general relativity, which predicts that when a massive star dies, it leaves behind a small, dense remnant core. If the core's mass is more than about three times the mass of the Sun, the equations show that no force can keep the core from collapsing under the pull of gravity to become a black hole. Now, if you think that's mind-boggling, wait till we delve into the concept of dark matter. Everything we see around us, the stars, the galaxies, they make up just 5% of the universe. The rest is dark, a combination of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter is invisible. It doesn't interact with the electromagnetic spectrum, which means we can't see it, we can't feel it, we can't hear it. But we know it's there because we can see its gravitational effects on visible matter. To sum up, we explored the mystery of Olber's paradox and why we can't see all the stars in the universe. We understood the nature of black holes and how they are formed, and we delved into the enigma of dark matter, the unseen majority of our universe. Space, as we see it, is not just about twinkling stars and glowing galaxies. It's a vast, expanding and largely invisible cosmos full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember you're only seeing a tiny fraction of the universe. There's so much more out there waiting to be discovered.